given that the a equals to 4 all over 5 and cos Given that this is a uh, sign sign a, given that sign a equals to four over five, and cos b equals to uh, twelve over thirteen, and they are saying that where a is obtuse angle and b is acute angle, so they want us to determine uh, sec a plus b, and then all we also uh, determine uh, tan 2a a solution. Now, uh, if we have if we have this being uh, this is sine a equals to four all over five, and they are saying that it is it is an an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle uh, it's an angle of greater than ninety. Therefore, if we sketch here. If we sketch here an xy plane, then we assume that that angle, that angle will lie in this in this in this quadrant. Therefore, we can 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 assume that this is the angle they are talking about. This is angle angle A. That is angle A. This angle, and then we apply uh, so curve. Sokatoa. Sokatoa, this means the sign of the angle is given by opposite over hypotenuse. Therefore, uh, sign A is given by opposite. Opposite is this one. Uh, hypotenuse is this, this length. So opposite, in our, our case opposite, this would be 4. And then hypotenuse would be, would be 5. So if this is 5, when we apply Pythagoras theory, then this one will be named minus minus three. Because, yeah, this will be minus three. Because remember uh, the Pythagoras theorem: five squared, uh, four squared plus negative three squared must give us the hypotenuse squared. So this is what you have. And then uh, they are saying that uh, B is an acute angle, and they saying that because B goes to twelve over thirteen. Uh, acute angle is less than 90 degrees, therefore that angle can be that quadrant, and we say that this one is angle angle B. So angle B is, is the same that is given by 12 all over 13, and the cosine the cosine is given by uh, is given by adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent over Adjacent of hypotenuse, therefore adjacent there is 12, hypotenuse is 13. Therefore, when you take this square plus this square square, so this is this is 5. This is 5. So from here, <coughs> so from here you can see that uh, at this point we have sine sine A, we have been given equals to uh, 4 over 5 and then uh, uh, cos cos a at this point cos a will be equal to uh, cos a will be equal to cosine is given by adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent is negative 3 hypotenuse is 5 so cos a will be um, adjacent which is negative 3 over hypotenuse which is which is 5 and then uh, tan a here will be given by tan a will be given by we have the tangent the tangent is given by opposite over adjacent opposite is is, is 4 adjacent is, is 3 so it will be negative 4 over three. Then here we've been told that cos cos b equals to twelve all over thirteen. So sine sine b will be equal to 
sine b will be equal to the sine squared by opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is is five. Then hypotenuse is is thirteen. Is thirteen. Okay. Now from the information we have, they want us to get um, they want us to get sec sec a plus uh, sec a plus b. Now um, we know that uh, that one that one all over cos cos beta equals to sec equals to sec beta. One all over cos beta equals to one all over cos beta equals to sec beta. Therefore, therefore, um, sec a plus b. This one equals to one all over cos e a plus plus b. Set a plus b equals to one all over cos a plus b. Uh, then from here we also know that cos cos beta plus plus phi cos theta plus plus phi this equals to uh, cos equals to cos beta cos phi minus sin beta sin sin phi from the sums of the angles sign differences therefore if we apply this then we shall say that uh, that uh, sec into a plus b which equals to one all over cos a plus b would equal to would equal to one over now this will be cos cos a cos b minus sin a sin sin b sin b now it will be equal to one all over now we have cos a cos a is given by uh, negative is given by Negative, negative three all over five times cos cos b cos b is given by twelve all over thirteen minus sine a sine a is given by four all over five times sine b sin b is given by 5 over 13 5 all over 13 5 all over 13 so I can write this up here so um, so when you multiply this when you multiply here negative 3 times 12 negative 3 over 5 times 12 all over 13 so equals to 1 all over that is negative 36 all over 5 times 13 this is 65 then minus 24 times 5 20 all over 65 65 therefore here um, let us deal with the denominator first. So we have the LOCM is 65. So we have negative 36 minus 20. This is equals to minus 
36, 20, this will be minus 56 all over 65. Mm -hmm. So, so from here we have we have one divided by we are divided by divided by uh, negative 56 all over 65. So this is the same as one times 65 all over 50. 6 negative. So the answer it will be 65 all over 56 like that. So that is uh, uh, that is sec, sec A plus B. Now um, So before we wrap here, we have said in that uh, that sign, sign A equals to 4 over 5, then cos, cos A equals to cosine is given by adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, negative 3 over 5, then tan, tan A equals to opposite over adjacent, Opposite which is 4, so it's opposite over adjacent, and opposite is 4 to negative, like that. Mm -hmm. So from the double angles, turn 2 beta from the double angles, turn 2 beta is given by 2 turn beta. 1 over 1 minus tan beta squared from the double angles. Therefore, therefore, tan 2a equals to 2 tan 2a um, 2 tan a 2 tan a over 1 minus tan um, over tan a squared therefore this equals to 2 tan a is so times negative 4 all over 3 then over 1 minus uh, tan a squared so it's minus minus 4 all over 3 3 squared so this this is minus and minus so we are multiplying here mm. so this is multiplication here so we have two times that so we have negative negative eight all over three then all over we have one minus when we square this we have minus sixteen over nine. Can you look at the numerator first? Is this one? So we have one minus sixteen over nine over one. Then the same here is nine, nine, one into nine, nine times one, we have nine minus minus sixteen. So this equals to 9 minus 16, mm, we have negative 7 over, we have negative 7 over 9. Therefore, this equals to 8 minus 8 all over 3 divided by negative 7 over 9. So this is the same as negative 8 all over 3 times 9 all over 7. So negative and negative will go and then you remain positive so it will be 8 all over 3 times 9 all over 7. Uh, 3 year 1, 3 year 3. So this equals to 8 times 3, 
for the love. So yeah. Thank you for watching and listening.